the transpose. Consider any M by N matrix A. Uh, so the matrix A has M rows and N columns. What we call the transpose of A which we can write as a prime or a with a t is defined as the n by m matrix so our original matrix A has M rows and N columns, and the transpose of A, which we write A prime, has N rows and M columns. So its rows equals the number of columns, and its number of columns equals the number of rows. Um, so N by M matrix, whose first column is the first row of A, whose second column is the second row of A, and so on. So in, in uh, taking the transpose, essentially what we're doing is we're switching the rows and the columns. We're taking the rows of A, and we're making those the columns of A prime. So if our matrix A has the elements A11, A12, up to A1N, A21, A22, up to A2N, and so on, AM1, AM2, up to AMN, then the transpose of A is going to be equal to A11, A21. Uh, so notice that initially A21 was over here. Now when we take the transpose, it's going to be over here. A21 up to AM1. A12, A22, up to AM2, and our last row is A2N, up to AMN. Uh, so what we did in taking the transpose is we took this entire first row and we made that the first column of the transpose. And we took the entire second row and we made that the second column of the transpose and so on. The, the last row of A is the last column of the transpose. Now let's take a look at some examples. Let's find the transpose of these two matrices uh, A and B.
So a is equal to negative 1, 2, 5, 0, 3, 1. So this is a 3 by 2 matrix, which means it has 3 rows and 2 columns. So the transpose of A is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. It's going to have 2 rows and 3 columns. Now the first row of A is going to be the first column of A prime. So negative 1, 0 is going to be the first column, 2, 3 is going to be the second column, and 5, 1 is going to be the third column. So this is the transpose of A. Uh, again, we write it A prime. Now suppose we have a matrix B with values 1, negative 1, 0, 4, 2, 1, 1, 1. Uh, so this is a 2 by 4 matrix, which means it has 2 rows and 4 columns. The transpose of B, which we write B prime, is going to be a 4 by 2 matrix, which means it has 4 rows and 2 columns. So the first row of B is going to be the first column of B prime. So it's going to be 1, negative 1, 0, 4. And the second row of B is going to be the second column of B prime. So it's going to be 2, 1, 1, 1. So that's how you take the transpose of a matrix. Now let's go over some rules for transposition. Suppose that we are given two matrices, A and B, suitable for the following operations. Now, when we're multiplying matrices, remember the number of columns of the first matrix has to equal the number of rows of the second matrix. So that's all we're saying when we're saying that um, the operations are suitable. It means that uh, this condition is satisfied for all the matrix multiplication that we do. And given any scalar alpha. Now remember, a scalar is just a real number or constant. So the first rule is that A transpose transpose is just going to be equal to A. So if we take the transpose of a matrix and take the transpose again, we're just going to get the original matrix, um, which makes sense because if we switch the rows and the columns, um, then the rows are now the columns. And then if we switch it back and make the columns the rows, then we get back to the original matrix. A plus B transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. Alpha A transpose is going to be equal to alpha times A transpose. And A B transpose is equal to B transpose times A transpose. Um, now this last rule is interesting. Notice that um, to the left side of the equal sign, we have A and then B. And then once we take the transpose, um, then B comes first. So now it's B transpose times A transpose. So now let's talk about symmetric matrices. Square 
square matrices. Uh, now remember, a square matrix is a matrix with the same number of rows and columns. So for example, a 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four or so on, these are all square matrices. So a square matrices with the property that they are symmetric about the main diagonal. Now, the main diagonal of a matrix um, goes from the top left to the bottom right. Um, so it's not the diagonal that goes from the top right to the bottom left. It's, it's from the top left to the bottom right. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same diagonal um, that is all ones when we're dealing with the identity matrix. Uh, so main diagonal refers to top left to bottom right. So if it's symmetric uh, about the main diagonal, then we refer to them as symmetric matrices. Now let's look at some examples of symmetric matrices. Negative three, two, two, zero. So this is our main diagonal. And um, this matrix is symmetric because it's symmetric about the main diagonal. So you see we have two on this side and then two on that side. Let's take a look at another symmetric matrix. Two, negative one, five. Negative one, negative three, two, five, two, eight. So our main diagonal is this. Um, and if we look on each side of the main diagonal, see we have matching numbers, negative one, negative one, five, five, and two, two. Let's look at one more example. A, B, C, B, D, E, C, E, F. Again, this is our main diagonal from the top left to the bottom right, and we have the same values on each side of the main diagonal. Now, what's the relationship between symmetric matrices and the transpose? Well, symmetric matrices are characterized by the fact that they are equal to their own transpose. So if you take the uh, if you take the transpose of a symmetric matrix, you get the same matrix. So saying that a matrix is symmetric is equivalent to saying that the matrix is equal to its transpose. Um, and this is easy to see. If you look at any of these uh, examples of symmetric matrices, um, if you take the transpose of these matrices, you'll get the same matrix.